it was my father's birthday and i bought a pen box for him now i wanted to gift wrap it so that i could give it to him now for that i needed to know how much paper i would need to cover that pen box so for that convenience let's let's open this box and see so by opening i could know what surface actually i had to cover with the sheet so you can see that the pen box it was three dimensional it had an length breadth and a height as well so after opening i saw that i had to cover these many surfaces to actually cover the pen box so that i could gift it to him so let's see how many faces do i actually have to cover well 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we have already studied that a cuboid has six faces so these are the six faces or surfaces that i have to cover in order to cover the whole pen box now what do we do when we try to cover a surface we find out the area of that surface so in this case we have to find out the area of these many surfaces so that we can cover the pen box so let's find out the area one by one now what will be the area of the surface number 1 now area is what length into breadth that is two dimensions so here you can see that we are given this length and this part is the breadth so we are having the area as length into breadth or we can write it as lb now the lb units or the lb square units will give me the area of the surface number 1 now let us consider the surface number 2 what am i having here this is the length and this part is the height we can see so how will i get the area of the surface number 2 length into height or i can write it as lh so we have found out the areas of 1 and 2 similarly we'll find out the area of 3 4 5 and 6 now 3 we are having it as same as length and breadth so we got length and breadth now 4 is this we are having this as length and this as height so we get this as length into height or lh and the fifth one it is what you can see h into b or we can write it as bh and the same one like the sixth surface is having the same dimensions h and b so we are thorough with the six surfaces and the area of these six surfaces now for the total area what i need to what i need to do i have to add these areas so that i can take out the total surface area so let's start adding let's see how many lb do we have we are having 1 2 so we are having 2 lb plus we can see that we are having 2 lh as well So two LH plus you can see we are having two BH or two HBs. So we can write it as two BH. Now if I take two common from these three equations, so I can write it as two LB plus BH plus LH. So this is actually what we call as surface area. or the total surface area of this box so what did we find out the surface area now the surface area is the sum of areas of all the faces 
or surfaces of a cuboid. That is what we find out just now. Now this is can also be called a surface area or total surface area. So now you know how to find out the total surface area of a cuboid. It is actually 2 lb plus bh plus lh. Now we know the dimensions of this pen box. So instead of actually opening it and seeing the surfaces, we can directly find out the surface area using these three dimensions. So let's solve it. And the total surface area is equal to 2. Now let us substitute the values instead of LB, BH and LH. So what is L? L is this 8 centimeter into B, which is 5 centimeter. Now B is again 5 into H. H is this 3 centimeter plus 3 into L is 8. So let's solve this. 8 fives are 40, 5 threes are 15, and 8 threes are 24. So we get this as 55. 79. This gives us 158 centimeter square. Why are we using the square units? Because we are taking out the area which is all which is always calculated in square units. So we found out the total surface area of this pen box. Now the surface area or the total surface area of this pen box is 158 centimeter square and what I had to do? I had to cover this box. So I found out that area of one sheet is actually 4 centimeter square. So how many sheets would I require to cover this box? Can you tell me? Well, the number of sheets required to cover this box is what? Surface area of the box. by area of one sheet so now you can solve this sum the total surface area is 158 by area of one sheet is 4 cm square so we get the answer as this will give us 39.5 or we can say that we will require about 40 sheets of paper to cover this pen box. You can see this is a cu cuboid here with the dimensions 4 meters, 5 meters and 12 meters. Now you know how to find out the total surface area of a cuboid. So find it out yourself. Now you know that the total surface area of a cuboid can be found out with the formula 2 brackets LB plus BH plus HL or LH where L represents length, B represents breadth and H represents height of a cuboid. So let's solve this with the dimensions given. You can see that the length is 12 meters, the breadth is 5 meters and the height is 4 meters. So substitute this in the formula and find out the answer. LB, that is L into B, so 12 into 5 plus BH, that is breadth into height, so 5 into 4 plus HL or LH, that is length into height, that is 12 into 4. Now solve this. What do you get? 12 into 5, that is 60 plus 5 into 4 that is 20 plus 12 into 4 that is 48. What do you get? 60 plus 20 gives us 80 and plus 48 gives us 128. So 2 into 128 that gives us 256 and what we will put as unit? Well meter is given here and it is total surface area. So whenever we write down the area, we write it in square units. So meter square. 
So you can say that the total surface area of this cuboid is 256 meters square. So this is how you find out the total surface area of any cuboid with the formula 2 brackets LB plus BH plus LH or HL where L represents length, B represents breadth and H represents height of the cuboid.